What's up, Zox fam? And we're back with some more Dislike. Now, I know a lot of you guys are just as hype as I am with all the new hype news that's coming up. But hey, we still got content to clear, all right? So I know a lot of you guys have either decided to pick up Jin Hee, and we're trying to figure out how uh, much of an investment or if she was even worth investing in for things like Fafnir. Now, the thing is, is that I wanted to show her at an endgame standpoint just to kind of give you a idea of what you would be getting at that point. Uh, but also just kind of the mindset into how you'd be using her and just my honest opinion. Um, so, of course, guys, definitely make sure that you like and subscribe so that you don't miss on any of the exclusive content coming to the channel. And I got to shout you guys out, man. We are almost at 19,000 subscribers on the road to 20K. So I absolutely appreciate you guys for liking every video, for subscribing to the channel. It really, really means a lot. Um, and I just hope that you guys are enjoying the content. All right. So let's go ahead and get into it, man. We got a little bit to talk about. Um, uh, now the first thing is I'm just going to play you a result that I actually had, um, just because I want to emphasize a couple of different things. Now, the thing about running Jin He in the comp, what I did with this team was I decided to just swap out my Hades, uh, and seeing if that would still work, right? Because there really isn't too much that she's offering to the team comp outside of like damage and the buff that she gives, right? Um, I think that for PVE content at end game, like I would say standard, um, she's not gonna be the most optimal necessarily for things like Fafnir 16, but because she can do Fafnir 16, this means that when you're looking at things like Fafnir, you know, th you know, 12, 13, 14, 15, she can do those respective levels. Um, but again, for what it's worth, I think it is worth mentioning things like her Dizzy Days, which is her uh, her stun. It does work on things uh, like the uh, sec the first two waves, right? So you're actually getting some usage there that can help you with your uh, clearing of those two first waves, um, which is really important. I think that that is a pretty massive thing to be able to get through so that you can get to the boss um, when you're talking about trying to speed up your clear. Uh, now, the other component to this is that uh, I am running a, uh, you know, a unit that is going to be following up. So if you don't have Yuntron, Hall is probably one of the best investments for that additional following up um, so that you're able to take advantage of that. Right now, um, the other thing is, too, is that when you're looking at uh, what it's worth, because she's not getting that uh, stun, she's not going to be getting the uh the uh, AP push from the Dizzy Days, which is another thing that it's it's not like super important that she's not getting it because again, you're trying to build her for damage at this point. Um, but that is something that I think is a huge, huge, like just thing to understand when you're investing in her. She's not gonna be like this crazy support. She really is gonna just become a uh, damage dealer of sorts for you to you know take advantage of for this piece of content. Now, in the rotation, I think the best thing that can typically happen with her is her being the one that gets CC'd. Uh, you really want to try to maintain all your multi-hitters uh, not being the ones that are frozen. So that's why if you can stack her with as much damage as you can, that actually ends up being like super beneficial for her because then she can be the one to kind of like take a bigger portion of the HP so that she can constantly be the one being targeted for the freeze. Now, uh, I think another thing that's worth mentioning too um, is that again, when you're looking at like certain units like Ahmed, I feel like for 16, this dude is just like, especially if you're looking for much faster clears, he feels like literally necessary. Like he really is extremely necessary um, for much faster clears. But again, she can do it. She does work, um, but I don't think that she's the most optimal for it, right? Um, so that's pretty much that. Now, we're gonna actually do something because I do want to Let's go to here. Okay, so I want to show you guys my build here. Now, what I'm actually taking advantage of here, um, again, is just more damage. So we got crit rate or crit damage. Um, we got crit, uh, attack percent, and then we have uh, attack percent on the boots. Um, what we did, I went with a broken set. So I'm doing Wind Walker, and I'm also doing a broken set at the end just to have the Wind Walker for rotating. Um, but I also have tried this on a uh, full damage build, which I feel like operates a little bit smoother, which actually, let's do that right um so we're gonna take her off of the speed and we're gonna throw her onto just a full attack set 
Okay, guys, so I actually got her built. Um, I'm going to show you guys this run with her on the, like, damage build. Now, again, I think it is also important, too, like, when you're talking about some of the other units you're bringing. Um, like, I'm hoping at some point... Oh, man, love the crit. Uh, hoping at some point that they bring back characters like Gabby as a freebie. Because she was super, super huge. She is super huge. Um, just for helping out with your progression uh, generally. Um, but when you pair her up in a combination like this, um, and I'm loving the fact that I'm at least seeing like at least on average about 20k crits with Jen He, which is not bad, um, considering that that wasn't even on a defense break. So that's actually not bad. Um, so yeah, I really hope that they have like units like Gabby rotate around because I know, you know, veterans are like, ah, we don't want the same characters again. But like, listen. You kind of have to give newer players the opportunity to get certain characters, even if we have them. Um, as long as there's, like, other things for us to eventually, you know, get at some point, then that's great. Uh, but, yeah, we're looking pretty solid here on our rotation. We're looking pretty solid on the rotation. Usually, I would say, like, as long as, like, certain units, like Yun Chuan, um, doesn't get stunned, you're going to be seeing a really, really solid run. Uh, because he is going to have those follow-ups, which is huge. Look at that. So we got our uh, Li Guang coming out of that now. And then it's like really, really just beneficial um, to have those units just kind of maintaining uh, that multi-hit. So Yun Chuan, like I said, any multi-hitter you can you can bring, like a Yun Chuan, a Hall, is just going to be a absolute plus for you to be able to maintain uh, the lack of you know hits you might have on your, on your comp, right? So there we go. Already got our Ahmed back. Which is, a, which is a beautiful thing. We will take it. We will take it. So, yeah, this is all, overall, so far, a pretty solid run with her. And I'm hoping... I really wish I could get a uh, a defense break because that would, like, really... Op oh, yeah, never mind. 43K. There it is. I was waiting for her to do it, but I didn't know when it was going to happen. But, yeah, she, she can pop off with damage. And that's kind of ideally what you want her to be doing. Um, Seer does help out significantly. That's 25% more damage, dude, that you add to that. So um, I really think for Jin He to work the way that you want her to, she just has to have an amazing pairing, like a really good team around her so that she can do those extra things, give you that extra damage, you know? So I think that that's like kind of the key point for her. So we're probably going to lose the Yun Chuan here. That's fine. Um, but we're on the last HP bar. At this point, if anyone dies, it kind of doesn't matter. Uh, because everything is pretty much solidified in terms of it being a W. And that should be a good old-fashioned GG. So, yeah, that's that's like one thing I would really honestly say. I say on average I'm getting about uh, somewhere near like 70% on the clears. Like 70, 75% on 16 at least. Which means, obviously, you go to lower floors, you'll be getting much higher consistent, uh, consistent clears. Uh, the only thing is, is that I will say is I feel like maybe having more resos might help but i don't think that that's gonna drastically change the units to the point where she just becomes this god tier unit i think that she does have the damage if you build her for it she absolutely can wreak havoc in that way but outside of that i still think that she is going to be more generally speaking a pvp is excuse me a pvp is uh, style unit um which is just seems to be like one of the most highlighted things about her but she can be used in fafnir i think that that's kind of the point that i want to make here so let me know what you guys think. Have you absolutely been loving her? Do you have her in a, you know, a speed tier clean or t uh, team clear uh, team? Like, how are you going about using Jin He when it comes to PVE content? Uh, let me know in the comment section down below, guys. Definitely, definitely stay charged up, stay blessed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hey,